Royal Caribbean seen as a best in class according to McGuire now for those who remember or don't remember this was the pandemic lows and for quite some time the cruise liner struggled and so did price as you did get a reaction and a pullback only to witness a double bottom as interest rates kicked in and however cruise liners including Royal Caribbean found its footing and currently from the lows of June of 2022 prices are up nearly fourfold now the question is where's price heading next you can see price is dealing with all-time highs and so the question is can price breach this level of resistance and make all-time highs before we look at the lower time frames we're gonna look at this article so last week McGuire Equity Research reaffirmed this positive stance on Royal Caribbean maintaining an outperform rating and raising its price target to 160 again price is currently at 131 the firm's confidence in the company stems from its perception of Royal Caribbean as a best-in-class player within the cruise industry poised to capitalize on its operational leverage in the post-pandemic landscape now the management of Royal Caribbean revised its full year 2024 guidance upwards in late February based on a robust wave season the period when cruises are often booked which has led to the expectation of adjusted earnings per share reaching double digit at the midpoint the management also provided updates on booking in indicating that the initial five weeks of wave season saw unprecedented demand surpassing the same period in last year in terms of performance the second half of 2024 is expected to exceed the first half the booked position for all key products is currently pacing ahead of the previous year in both rate and volume and onboard spending remains strong due to higher customer participation at increased prices all right so finally mcguire equity research has adjusted its model for the EPS, uh, which now is reflecting ten dollars all the way out to thirteen dollars and eight cents. These revisions are driven by the sustained momentum in bookings and pricing, the introduction of new ships, and robust onboard spending. The positive adjustments are somewhat tempered by a slight increase in projected cruise operating costs. All right, so we go back to the charts, and we're going to go down to the weekly chart, and. Um, this weekly buy level is no longer valid. Again, a couple of things I want to note. It was not a weekly buy or wasn't a weekly buy that was going to hold because price never took out the all-time highs, right? This told me that the sellers were in control, which is why price closed and breached this weekly buy level. So I'm going to take this off the chart. Now, this is a nice level of interest. And this is a nice level of interest. This is a rallying price, basic candle rally, basic candle rally. So I'm just going to put a red horizontal box just to indicate the two levels of interest if price dips steeply. Now, I do want to analyze this area here if a rallying price basin candles in the drop right so I could say this level is weekly sellers and as you can see price came up pull back came up pull back but based on your moving averages they're still pointing up so at some point, based on the technicals and the article, which is the fundamentals, look for price to move higher over the next several months. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.